guys, how's it going? It's Alicia with Yoga Alicia, and today we are going to do Downward Dog, a Dome Cross Marasana. So, I'm actually going to have my daughter help me. She's home on fall break. Addie, come here. Addie, come here. <laughs> oh, you didn't put your hair up. Okay, come here. So, um, this pose can be kind of tricky sometimes because um, it's actually a spine extension pose. So we're trying to get a really good stretch in the spine. Sorry, your hair is not going to look the best, but come on over onto the mat, munchkin. Face that way for me, please. Where? Face the other way. Yep. And then can you do a downward dog for me? Call on the left. Downward dog. You know how to do it, right? Okay. So let me go ahead and get her into the proper position. Munchkin. I want you to put your hand, no, stay down there, stay down there. Spread your fingers really wide with your middle finger facing the front of the mat, okay? Your middle finger facing the front of your mat. And then your feet are going to come out just a little bit further to hip distance apart. You can bring them in just a tiny bit. That's a little bit too wide. There you go. That's hard. Okay. <laughs> what does it hurt? It doesn't hurt anything. Oh, it's stretching. You're just, you're stretching. Okay. <laughs> okay, I know. Well, we're going to work on that. All right. Sp spread the fingers. Keep your fingers spread wide. Okay, your hands should be in line with each other. So you have this one back further. Keep them, keep them even. There you go. And then bring your head up a little right there. So your neck should just be an extension of your spine. Okay, now I'm going to pull on your hips just a little bit, but leave your hands right where they are, okay? So this Ow. right there is what we're looking for. Ow. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't hurt. Is it, is it just stretching? Is it uncomfortable or is it pain? Pain. <laughs> is it uncomfortable or is it pain? pain? It's uncomfortable. Where does it hurt? Right here. That's stretching, right? Okay, so that's uncomfortable. Get yeah. back in the posture for me. Kids are so dramatic. Thank you. So, Addie, while you're here, you can go ahead and pedal your feet a little bit with this. To kind of like you get your hamstrings warmed up a little bit. Can you go back into it for me? Do I down my dog? Yes, please. That's, yeah. that's the posture that we're working on today. Okay, so... This is not a pose to do late-term pregnancy or if you have high blood pressure or um, carpal tunnel. So try to straighten the knees a little bit more. And then this is really what we're looking at is the spine in this posture. So right now, her spine is somewhat rounded. So Munchkin, can you walk your arms a little bit more out in front of you? Yeah, okay, now, now keep the neck in line with the spine, and when we pull up, see, <laughs> see how we get more of uh, that, that length in the spine that we're looking for, so, and we're also not like crunching over here, so we're keeping Ow. this, you're fine, it hurts. you can lift your heels up a little bit off the ground if it's really painful. You can be on your toes a little bit. That's a modification. We can always take some blocks and put them underneath of the heels a little bit. There, can you press? Now can you, let me put that one there. Now can you do it better? Is that a little less painful? Yeah. Okay, keep your hand, yeah, keep your wrist down, fingers spread. All right, you're good. You can get out of here now. You can get out of here. It <laughs> hurts. Okay. All right. Go away. Okay. <laughs> Adios. Adios. So, downward facing dog is like I do tons of Ashtanga. So, this is, I mean, we're in downward facing dog for a really long time. When you're doing Ashtanga, there's times where you're holding it for five full breaths. And so, you have to really kind of make sure that I'm constantly readjusting myself in this posture. Constantly. Because I have an overarched lower back and I have a tendency to pull my shoulders up to my ears 
every time I tried to correct my my arch. So sometimes you'll I'm, I'm like I'm moving like a snake. I'm like in downward dog, and I'm like oh wait pull on pull on the stomach. Oh wait pull back the shoulders. Oh wait pull on the stomach again, and I'm like just going through this crazy cycle of doing it over and over and over again. So coming in fingers spread wide, eyes of the elbows, the insides of the elbows are facing each other, okay? Middle finger is facing towards the front of the mat. And you can, uh, you can kind of start from tabletop if you want, and then just tuck the toes and lift the hips and come on back. Bringing the navel in and trying to get as much length in the spine as possible, lifting the hip up and back and keeping the shoulders drawn down and away from the ears with the neck in line with the spine. It is therapeutic for sciatica, insomnia, fatigue, um, mild depression, stress, anxiety, we're calming the brain, we're stretching in the hamstrings, we're strengthening in the arms and the shoulders, we're lengthening in the spine, kind of like decompressing. So um, it's it's one of the postures that you absolutely have to know how to do and try to do properly. Um, like I showed you with my munchkin Addy, um, if you're really tight in the hamstrings, you can put something underneath of your heels um, to begin with and then slowly try to get your heels to touch down. Um, if you feel any kind of pain in the knees, you can take a micro bend. Um, there's all kinds of modifications to be done with downward facing dog, but it is pretty much imperative that you learn how to do it. Thank you so much for joining me today and for letting my munchkin join us. I hope you guys all have a great day. Namaste.